Hey guys, Sebastian here, and today we'll be discussing disease. Well, one disease in particular, but to understand that, we must look at what sickness really is. Thanks for being here, and this is the coronavirus explained in under 128 seconds. Let's start at the start. What is a virus? Is it alive? Can I become a zombie from one? A virus is defined as a biological agent that replicates inside of host cells. This basically means that a single virus cell can enter a larger alive cell and make copies of itself, which then go on to other host cells. This is how viruses are transmitted through a body. For the question of, is it alive, well, that depends who you ask. Our definition of quote-unquote alive has been evolving as we discover more, which has led scientists heavily disagreeing with each other concerning the aliveness of a virus. And, I should add as a side note, despite what you hear on the internet, a zombie virus will not occur anytime soon. At least not in humans. Link in the description. Now on to the main attraction, the coronavirus. You've probably heard about it hundreds of times before clicking on this video. Before I hop into the details of it, we need to acknowledge that coronavirus is a term for a specific group of viruses that cause respiratory afflictions in humans and is easily spread through mammals. So, how did this celebrity of a virus come about? Well, I'm sure that you heard that it started in Wuhan, China, and as of now, we don't know what actually started it. But the top theory is that diseased animals were served as food in a market in the city. This may have kicked off the viral pneumonia that spread and became known as the Wuhan novel coronavirus. Symptoms of the coronavirus include cough, fever, shortness of breath, and in rare cases, respiratory issues and kidney failure, which eventually lead to death. Now, I know that sounds scary and the news isn't helping, but should we be concerned? The simple answer is no. The deaths attributed to the Wuhan coronavirus are consistent with other coronaviruses that have existed for much longer, such as SARS. As of now, there have only been two deaths outside of China. How do you stay safe from this virus? Well, here are some of the best ways to protect yourself from the Wuhan coronavirus. Do not go to Wuhan. Wash your hands. And if you feel sick, see a doctor. Stay healthy, subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.